Welcome to the channel, I trust that you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a trailing stop loss on the Binance Futures Exchange. If you get some value out of this video, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Let's get into the video. Before setting the trailing stop loss, I'm going to have to mark it into a small long position here. So I'm going to come up here to the order panel and I'll go ahead and open a small long, something like this. Good enough. First step to setting the trailing stop loss is obviously configuring the order panel. So we're going to move from open over to close. Then we need to click on trailing stop. If you don't see trailing stop, just hover over this little arrow here and select trailing stop from this drop down menu. Now that we're set to trailing stop, we need to set the callback rate. This is going to be the distance that the trailing stop loss follows behind price action. And we can set the callback rate by coming to this little box here. We can go 1%, 2%, or we can put in a custom amount. I'll go ahead and do 3%. This means that the trailing stop loss will follow behind price action by 3%. Next, we need to choose an activation price. This is going to be a price point that activates the trailing stop loss to begin to trail behind price action. So for the purposes of demonstration, let's come over here to the chart. I'll quickly grab a horizontal and I'll go ahead and just mark the top of this wick right here just to add some visuals here as I explain this. Now we can see a price point on the Y axis of the chart with that horizontal at 20,651. So for this tutorial, I'll use that as the activation price. We'll come back over here to activation price. And I'll type in 20,651. Now we need to choose how much of the position we wish to close if our trailing stop loss gets hit. In most cases, it'll likely just be 100%. So I'm gonna come down here to the slider bar and I'll go ahead and set this to 100%. Now that I have this set up the way that I want it, I'm going to go ahead and click on close long. Now I've submitted that trailing stop loss order. If price action is to come up to this horizontal here and hit my activation price, it's going to activate that trailing stop loss to begin to follow behind price action by 3%. So as price action is moving up, the trailing stop loss follows behind by 3%. If at any point price action retraces by 3%, it's going to hit the stop loss and remove me from the position. The key here is, is to make sure that the stop loss gets activated. If price action just rolls over from here and the stop loss isn't activated, I'll still be sitting in this position as it moves to the downside. So keep that in mind when selecting an activation price. We can also view the details of our trailing stop loss if we come down here next to positions, click on open orders. And here's where you'll find your trailing stop loss. If at any point you want to cancel it, just click this little trash icon right here. And as you can see, I've removed that trailing stop loss order. Now I'll quickly point out, if we come back here to the order panel and hover over activation price, you'll see in Binance's own words, it says activation price is one of the trigger conditions for trailing stop order. If no activation price is set, the activation price will be the market price by default, either last price or mark price. And you can toggle between the two. If you just click right here where it says mark, you can select last price. But sometimes Binance has errors with this. So as an example, I'll set my callback rate to 3%. Let's leave this blank. Then we'll come down here to size, go to 100%. When I go to close the long, you'll see down below that I'm getting a bad gateway error. So sometimes this actually doesn't work. I have had it work for me just fine in the past, but for the last few days, there's been an error with this. So you're probably best to just set an activation price. Binance will likely have that error corrected sometime in the not too distant future, I would imagine anyway. And you can also use trailing stop losses when going short as well. So I'll quickly demonstrate that. So let's come back down here to positions. I'll quickly close this little long position and I'll come back to the order panel and I'll open a small short position here. Something like this. Good enough. To set the trailing stop loss for the short position, I'll move from open to close, click on trailing stop, and once again, I'll set my callback rate. And for this demonstration, I'll just do 3% again. We can see that Bitcoin's currently trading at 20,241, so I'll set an activation price for 20,200. Then I need to choose the amount of the position I wish to close if my trailing stop gets hit. So I'll go ahead and just slide that to 100%. And this time I'll be clicking on close short. Now I've submitted that trailing stop order for my short position. Remember, I'll need price action to get down to 20,200 and hit that price point before the stop loss becomes activated. Once activated, the stop loss is going to start to follow behind price action by 3% in my case. And if we catch a bounce by 3%, it's going to hit that stop loss and remove me from the position. 
If at any point I want to cancel that stop loss, I'd come down here next to positions, click on open orders, and over here on the right hand side, click this trash icon, and I've removed that trailing stop. At the end of the day, you'll have to do some technical analysis when choosing the correct parameters for your trailing stop loss idea. Typically what I like to do is I like to just zoom the chart out a little bit, find out what a normal price fluctuation is for that particular asset, how big are the ranges when the asset begins to range, because at the end of the day, you don't want to set your trailing stop loss too close to price action. You don't want to get stopped out on a normal price fluctuation. But aside from that, that's how you get that done. And there you have it. That's how you set up a trailing stop loss on the Binance Futures Exchange. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. I also have plenty more Binance tutorials that I put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. So feel free to check those out as well. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.